Hi, welcome. This is Leanne from Soul Swap Yoga, also known as Leanne the Kiwi Yogi. So we're just back and today we're going to do a little bit of a hip sequence. A quick one just to kind of release any tension if you've been sitting a long time throughout the day or you just need to give it a little good stretch. So we're going to start sitting on the floor if you've got your props like your uh, bolster or a blanket but you will need a strap or a elastic band to kind of give you some stretch so that we can get some length through the hamstrings as well. So when you're ready you can meet me right here. We are be a little stronger. All right, well, welcome back. We're just gonna take a nice, easy hip flow today to really open up the hips and to get us mobilized. So starting on your mat in an easy, comfortable cross-legged position, feel free at any time to sit up onto your blanket or your bolster. <coughs> blanket um, gives a little extra height through the hips. So once you're nice and comfortable, you can just close down your eyes. So we'll just sit all for a couple of breaths um, into the space of our practice. Hands resting on the knees or the thighs. Try to soften through the shoulders and soften the face. As you come into the space, just bringing in a level of awareness, of intention to really just tune into the sensations of your body through this practice and listening to your body. So where can you find this, this edge, this space where you maybe feel the tension or the resistance? And where do you think you can breathe a little more to, to lengthen it, to deepen it for yourself? So just sitting into stillness for a couple of moments. Become aware of your breath. Become aware of your body. holding that intention to stay mindful, to stay present. You know, gently open your eyes, allow the light and the space in. And we're gonna come into a square pose, okay? So square can be quite difficult off the bat because it's asking the hips to do an awkward position. But first of all, we want to take our right leg underneath. So you're gonna take the shin parallel, so the knee in line with the ankle, and then you're gonna pick up your left knee and your left ankle, and you're gonna stack the ankle atop of the right knee, and you're gonna take the left knee atop of the right ankle. So you're gonna feel there's a lot of space here that you know can potentially create a big gap through here, but we just want to allow the hips to soften down, and it's with time that the legs will come down. Now, if this is not even in your ballpark, for many it's not an option, then you're just gonna slide the ankle down and you're just gonna stack the shins. If that's still not possible, then maybe just taking and keeping the shins and the ankles to the floor. So taking your position, your option, have a little play, find the space that works for you. And like I said, we're finding that edge where we're not just in comfort, where we're actually um, really pushing and exploring our bodies and our breath. So from here, just maybe resting the hands either side of the legs, fingertips to the floor. Try to lengthen through the spine. Now you'll notice that maybe you wanna lean into one side more than the other, but we wanna just intentionally start to push using the muscles in our legs, the knees down toward the floor. So particularly the left knee you wanna come down, sitting down through the hips, grounding down. Maybe staying here nice and high, or maybe you wanna to start to walk your hands in front of the shins, and you're gonna walk your hands forward. Now, as you walk your hands forward, the hips may naturally tilt forward and the knee comes down, and we can round over the spine, just folding forward. So you're getting that beautiful stretch down the outside of your leg and into the piriformis muscle in the buttocks. So just soften through the shoulders, relax through the neck. Just take two more breaths here. Really connect with your breath. Allow the breath to go all the way down into the belly. Allow the belly to expand. And as you exhale, draw the belly button in. Use the muscles in the belly to press the breath out through the nose. After your final exhale, slowly walk the hands in. Walking on up, slowly rise on up. The last thing to lift is your head. Nice. So you're gonna feel this as you take your hands either side of your hips, rock back onto your bottom, 
uncross that bottom leg. So extend the right leg long. And from here, you're gonna take the left foot to the inside of the shin. So Daniel Sarasasana, the half split here where we're going to fold forward. So from here, we're gonna rise on up with the hands. As you exhale, we're gonna fold forward, reaching for the toes. Now, not always common practice for people to reach the legs lengthening out. Maybe it's easy for you, but if it's not an option to hold the feet, you might wanna hold the ankle or the shin, or just rest the hand down on the front of your shin. You're gonna rest the forehead, softening over, lengthening the spine. So you try to feel like you're shifting your chest, your heart space forward toward the front of your foot rather than just trying to round over, drawing the shoulders up around your ears. We wanna draw the shoulder blades down the spine, keep the spine long, neck lengthened, head softening over. Take one more breath here. Full exhale out. Inhale, slowly rise on up. Nice, from here, you can take your hands alongside the hips, extend the left leg forward. A little shake out with the legs and we'll change straight onto the other side. So you're gonna bend the right knee and this time we're gonna take the right knee, sorry, the left knee is gonna go to the floor and you're gonna take the right foot over top of the left knee. So coming onto the other side. So feel free to pull the fleshy parts of your bottom out and ground down through the sit bones and allow the knees to stack over the, or the knee over ankle, ankle over knee. Or remember to take the option of the shin stacked or perhaps just even crossing the legs. So even with the legs crossed as we fold forward, you're still gonna feel the stretch through the outside of the hip. So finding your space, sitting up nice and tall, resting the hands alongside the body, fingertips to the floor. Start to shift the weight forward into the knees, pressing the knees toward the floor. Nice, so you can notice that my hip is open more on this side than the other, but that's why we practice. We practice to keep the body even and softening. You can either stay here or start to walk your fingers forward taking them in front of the shins and really starting to fold over the legs. Just using your breath as your guide, allow yourself to kind of soften down. I always just take my hands wherever. I'm not really sure I'm supposed to have them sometimes, but just relax them down because it's different for everyone, for shoulders, for hips, so we're really just letting go. Take a few breaths here, surrendering over, lengthening spine. One more breath. And on your next inhale, slowly rise on up, walking the hands in, lifting and lengthening up. You're gonna shift the weight back into the hands, rock back onto the bottom, uncross and untuck that left leg and take the leg long, taking the right solar foot to the inside of the left thigh, taking Janu Sarasasana on the other side. So from this way, you just want to shift the torso over toward the left leg. So instead of just facing forward, just gently turn it over toward the left. I like to line up the center of my chest up with the left leg. From here, you're gonna reach the hands up as you exhale. You're gonna fold forward, reaching through the fingers, lengthening the heart forward, start to surrender over. Option here, really press out through the heel, flex the toes in towards the shin and surrender over, taking the nose towards the knee or maybe the chin towards the shin. I totally did not try to just rhyme that, it just came out. So chin to shin, <laughs> nose to knee. Just allow yourself to settle into the pose, breathing. Maybe have a little press and play with the foot. So really pressing the inner sole, maybe flexing the toes either way. You'll feel it differently through the back of the leg, but try to relax the shoulder blades down the spine, creating space around the ears. Take a few more breaths here. Full exhale out. Nice, slowly release and rise on up. Nice, just crossing the legs. We're gonna make our way over into a down face dog. So Adho Mukha Svanasana. So it's nice and easy. The best way to come into this is to just come to the back of your mat, take your big toes to touch and your knees a little wider. 
So if that's not possible for your knees, then you can take the knees together. So Balasana, child's pose, is just surrendering the torso and the chest, forehead all the way to the floor. We lengthen our arms forward. This is extended Balasana, reaching through the fingers, shoulders, and hands, uh, sorry, hands are shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers nice and wide. From here, the easiest way is to lift your hips, tuck your toes, shift the weight into the knees and the hands, and then from there, tucking the toes, press out through the hands, lift your knees and take the hips nice and high. Nice gentle movement here, where we start to walk out the hamstrings. We're really strengthening through the arms. And then when you're ready, softening both heels down. Really press through the heels, squeeze the thighs on and lift the hips high. So your hands shouldn't be sliding. You should press through the fingertips, the base of your knuckles and the heels of your hands. So you're trying to press away like a push up, up off your mat. That energy is traveling up toward your hips. So it's got to go up your arms, up your shoulders, your back and all the way to the hips. You've got that Strong, firm sides of waist as the hips lift high. Nice. From here, we're going to extend the right leg toward the sky. Keep flexing the toes, press out through the heel. And then from here, you're going to curl the knee towards the chest, round forward into a little tiger curl, float the shoulders over top of the wrist. And then we're going to take the right knee behind the right wrist and the foot behind the left. Any knee issues, we're simply going to come over onto our backs if we need to. We're going to slide that left leg back and behind, rest the top of the foot to the floor. And if your right buttocks is a long way off the floor, you're going to grab your block and just simply pop it underneath the buttocks to keep the hips nice and square. So if it's close to the floor, then try not to use your block because then you'll end up leaning into the side. We want to allow some space to create length with this pose. So Ekapada Raja Kopatasana, pigeon pose. Either staying here, maybe walk the hands either side of the waist, opening through the chest, or maybe just start to walk your hands forward, lengthening through the spine, come down onto the elbows. Or walk your hands forward and surrender the forehead to the floor. Take a long breath in, smooth exhale out. One more breath. Really wiggling those left toes back if you can. Trying to keep the hips aligned. Settle into stillness now for about five breaths. Counting the breaths in your own time. Again, being mindful of the intention. Moving, thinking with compassion. With love for your own body, your own thoughts. So allowing everything to compress, decompress, stretch, open up, surrendering in this pose. At any stage that you feel like you come to, can't come down to the floor, you can always pop a pillow underneath your chest or the bolster as such and just resting over that. That's a really nice restorative way. Just taking your final few breaths here before we make our way back up so nice and slow walk the hands back in so nice strong hands hands shoulder width apart from here you're going to tuck your back toes wiggle the toes in slightly press out through the hands press out through the left knee and start to extend the right leg back and behind keep it low flex through the foot and lift the leg up high just hold there for one breath allowing the blood to come back to the hip and then exhale, release the foot back down to your down face dog. Nice, walking it out, feeling what is good for you. And then we're gonna come straight into the other side. So from there, I'm gonna extend the left leg up, opening up, flex the toes, full breath in. As you exhale, curl the knee towards the chest, float forward into your tiger curl, shoulders over top of the wrists, and then take your left knee behind your left wrist and your foot behind your right. From there, slide your right leg back and behind, top of the foot to the floor, maybe grabbing your block if you did so on the other side, popping it underneath the buttocks. But if you've got room, then just keeping the hip 
kind of suspend it in the air and allow it some space to come down. Take the hands either side of the hips, nice and tall with the spine opening up. And then when you're ready, you're gonna surrender over. Come down to the floor, surrender the forehead down. Taking the same option you did on the other side if possible. So if you can, lengthen the arms forward if that's what was in your practice before. Surrendering all the way down. Let's take a few breaths here, really feeling into that space where you can lengthen out and surrender down. Try to keep the hips nice and square. So if you feel like you're rolling onto your left buttocks, start to draw the front of the right hip down, lengthen the leg long. Now from here, we're gonna settle into stillness for about five breaths. Just try to soften everything in the body. Notice where you're holding tension. Notice how your breath moves through your body. Keeping present on your mat. Count the breaths in your own mind. The beauty of these home practices is you can make little noise, uh, sighs and noises. Uh, and nobody else is around to hear you. So feel free to let go, sigh, make some noises if you need to. And when you're ready, after your final exhale, we slowly rise back on up. Walk the hands in. Lift and open up. Hands either side of the hips if that's okay for you. And then from here, hands shoulder width apart. So we're sitting up for our down face dog again. Tuck your right toes in, walk them in slightly. Keep your hips low, press out through the hands, shuffle the left leg back up and behind, flex through the toes, lift the hips, allow the blood to come back to the hip, and then come back to your down face dog. Nice, taking your breath there, full breath in. Long exhale out. From here, we're slowly walking our feet to the top of your mat. Actually, we'll just come to the center. In the center of the mat, walk your feet out a little wider. So you want your pinky toes almost on the outside edges of your mat. Your heels slightly in, your toes slightly out. I'm gonna come into a malasana, a little Hindi squat here. Just sitting down through the hips. So if the heels don't wanna to release to the floor, that's okay, but we're really starting to press through the heels. Shift the weight back into the heels so that we can release through the Achilles and start to open the hips up. So you can just have the fingertips resting to the floor if you like. Or maybe you like to take your elbows to the inside of the knees. The palms come to press. Now the, take the, thing, the fingers in toward the face and the throat and then start to draw the heels of the hands down toward the floor as you press the knees away. So you've got those opposing energies of the knees pressing into the elbows and the elbows pressing into the knees. So you're trying to lengthen the spine, crown of head up toward the sky. And you're trying to soften the tailbone down. Take that full breath in. Long exhale out. One more breath. Nice exhale, release your arms. You're gonna roll down onto your bottom nice and slowly. Take your hands to the front of the shins and just rounding over the legs, just folding, rounding, letting go. Hmm. So from here, just slowly to lift your forehead and lengthen your legs long. You're gonna grab your strap now and we're just gonna do a quick hamstring release. So hamstrings um, can get quite tight, but we get to lay down on the mat and do this one. So just laying down on the floor, lengthening the spine long, making sure that ponytails are out of the way if you've got one there, and just laying on your back. So from here, just gently hug the right knee in towards the chest. Nice, hug the right knee in, hands on top of the shin, squeeze it in, get a little wiggle through the hip. And then from here, we're gonna take the strap, the center of the strap over the ball of the foot, okay? So make sure your arms are nice and long, but pull your shoulder blades down into the floor, and then just start to extend the foot toward the sky, 
as you press out through the heel. So the knees don't have to be straight, the leg doesn't have to be straight, the knees don't have to be locked out, but you're pressing through the heel as you inhale and you're taking the toes back towards the head as you exhale. It's always really nice to flex the left foot, the long leg, and squeeze the thigh, pressing the thigh down into the floor. Try to relax through the shoulders, soften through the throat. So having a little play here, really working with your level. Maybe the knee is bent a lot and you're taking the foot back. Maybe the leg's long and you can take the toes all the way back toward the head. That's not what my hamstrings allow. <laughs> but we'll just stay here with the breath, allowing some time to open up. One more breath here. Exhale, I'm gonna release the strap off the ball of the foot, keep the leg extended and slowly, shakily, lower the leg all the way down. Nice, just relax both feet, point through the toes, flex and relax, and just feel the length from the left and the right side of the body. Allow the ankles to roll away from each other. I'm gonna straight, come straight onto the other side. So bend the left knee, draw the knee in towards the chest, hugging it in. Just drawing it in, hands to front of the shin, releasing that hip. And then when you're ready, you're gonna take the ball, sorry, the strap over the ball of the foot on the left side and start to extend the foot toward the sky. The arms are long, but the shoulder blades and shoulders draw back down to the floor. So you can slide the length of the strap out a little if you need to. Flex the right toes in toward the shin and press through the left heel. So it's funny, I'm teaching in this pose, you can see a lot of shaky legs and it's no different with me. So this is something that I enjoy practicing a little bit more, but you'll notice the body resisting. So if you're shaking, it's just the nervous system <laughs> resisting that stretch. And my left is shaking a whole lot more than my right. So just tune into your body. What's happening with your body? Just a few more breaths. Taking that breath all the way to the belly. Press out through the heel, flex through the toes. One more breath. As you exhale, release the strap off the ball of the foot, lengthen the leg long, and slowly with control, lower the leg all the way down. Let's relax the legs away. A little release through. Maybe you feel the lower back lift up off the floor as the buttocks connect down. Feel the sensations through the legs. And then from here, bend the knees, take the feet, the outside edges of your feet in line with the outside edges of your mat, let the knees fall in towards each other. Just gonna do a quick window washes here. So dropping the knees over to one side, both knees. Inhale, come back to center. Drop the knees over to the opposite side, keeping the feet where they are. Come back to center. One more time on each side, just releasing through the hips, coming back to center, and then over to the left, coming back to center. Nice, hug the knees toward the chest. Rocking from side to side, releasing your lower back. From here, you're gonna roll up to seated. So you just a couple of rock and rolls, popping your strap off to the side. Take a moment here, sitting in Sukhasana, easy pose. <sighs> really feeling the hips soften down. You may notice the knees come down a little more as the hips are open. Just take a moment here, close down your eyes, hands to heart center. Having gratitude and compassion, love, all for your practice. Thank you for moving with me, opening your hips and your heart. Bowing the head toward the fingers, ending your practice. Namaste. We are, wanna be a little strong.